Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about how to design this bolt in SOLIDWORKS. And so you can see that it has some specific design features. As we scroll around, you're going to be able to see those features here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start off by opening up a new part. So let's go to new right here. Select part, click OK. The first thing we're going to do, guys, is we're going to go down here to our drop down here. We're going to make sure that we're in MMGS, so millimeter gram seconds. Once we're done with that, we're going to hit our front plane. We're going to hit sketch. Once you hit front plane and sketch, you're going to go up to the polygon tool. You're going to click on the center right here, and we're going to draw out polygon shape. And so when we draw it out, we're going to see that our parameters, we're going to keep six sides. We're going to keep the inscribed circle. And so when the next thing we're going to do is we're going to hit the check mark. Then we're going to go up to smart dimension and we're going to dimension this out. So we're going to click on here, bring it over to this side right here and then bring it up. And we're going to make this dimension as 20. Check mark. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to actually let's hit escape. We'll click right here and we're going to make sure that this is horizontal. So go ahead and click on that horizontal number right there. And now we're going to go to our features tab. We're going to select extruded boss base. We're going to have the direction as the Mid plane, and we're going to make sure our diameter is at nine. So we're going to change this to nine millimeters, and then we're going to hit the green arrow to lock that in. And so this gives us the beginning of our, our shape for our bolt. Now we're going to click on the outer face right here, and we're going to click on sketch. And now we're going to hit the draw circle. And what we're going to do is from the center point right here, we're going to draw a circle until we hit that outer edge. What that's going to do is it's going to make it tangent to our, to our bolt face. And so now I want to click the features tab and we're going to go to extruded cut. Now, once we click extruded cut, we're going to change go we're going to keep it on sketch plane uh, we're going to change this to through all we're going to click on this degrees and we're going to change this to 45 degrees five degrees we're going to make sure that we do have this flip side to cut checked and then we're going to click the arrow and so what that's going to do is it's going to give us this this cut feature right here. So now we're going to go up to the features menu. We're going to hit mirror. And so what we're going to do is we're going to hit this drop down right here on our history. I'm going to choose front plane. Once front plane, it's going to say front plane right here. Once I, once I choose that, I'm going to click OK. Now what I'm going to do is go back to the sketch. I'm going to click on the circle. I'm going to select this front plane right here. It's going to it's going to rotate, and then I'm going to draw a circle with a diameter of 12. So I'm going to draw this out. Then I'm going to go to my Smart Dimension tool, click on the circle, and then I'm going to put in 12. It's a check mark. Hit this check mark one more time. Now let's go to our features tab. And so in the features tab, what we're going to be doing is clicking on the extruded boss base. And then within the within this extruded boss base, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be direction of is going to be blind. And then what I'm going to do is for my diameter, I'm going to put at 40 millimeters. So let's click on here, 40, 
three millimeters. Let's check this right here. Draft, merge result. Okay, we're gonna click on it. And so now you can see that we have the shape of a bolt started here. So the next thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add a chamfer here. So let's go ahead and hit escape. I'm gonna choose this edge. When I choose this, I'm gonna go where the chamfer, this little selection box here. When I click on that chamfer, I'm gonna make sure that the chamfer type is this shape. So I want A to D. I'm gonna keep it on edge one. There's no preview. And then I'm gonna change this to 0.5. So let's go ahead and 0 0.5. So make sure this has 0 0.5. And then our degrees is gonna be at 45 degrees. So once you have all of those selections in, you're gonna hit your check mark. And that's gonna give us that little chamfer at the end. Okay, so now it's time to add our threads to our bolts. So we're gonna go over to our hole wizard. We're gonna go on the drop down, look for thread. When it opens up, you're gonna see this message right here saying that profiles are nominal, thread profiles only. You're gonna click OK. So now you're in your thread window right here. You're gonna go down to where it says thread location. We're gonna click on this box right here. We're gonna click on to this area, the boss extrude two. Now what I want you to do is scroll down. You're gonna to go to type. We're gonna do metric die. And then we're gonna to go to size is gonna be M12.1.5. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down to the end condition. The end condition right here is gonna be up to selection and we're gonna select the end cap right here. And then our offsets, we're gonna change this offset right here for thread location one to five millimeters. And then we're going to change, and that's gonna give us this space up here. And then we're gonna change our offset for our end condition to two millimeters. Let that load. Then we're gonna scroll down. We're gonna make sure we're on metric die still, M12 1.5. We've got the cut thread. We have right-handed thread and our wireframe preview. So you can see the wireframe preview right here. And so now we're gonna hit the check mark or okay. Okay, so the next thing we have to do is we're gonna scroll in on this little area here, right here on the end, kind of rotate up. We're gonna select this thread one. We're gonna hit sketch. Once that's open up, you're gonna hit convert entities. Then you're gonna to go to your features menu. Then you're gonna hit extruded cut. It's gonna rotate out. We're gonna change this direction to through all. And we're gonna hit the check mark. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give us this little extruded cut right here, the end of the, the, end of the threading for our bolt. So the last thing we got to do is we're going to add our color. So we're going to go over here to our menu right here. We're going to hit appearances. We're going to hit on to metal. We're going to hit on steel. You're going to see where it says brush steel right here. So you're going to click on brush steel. You're going to hold down alt on your keyboard. There should be a little plus sign. And then you're going to bring that over to the color and it should color your entire bolt that brush steel color. So once you're done with that, you're going to click OK. Make sure that it's good to go. Close this menu out and we're gonna save it. So we're gonna go up to our save menu right here. We're gonna hit save as. We're gonna make sure we're on our Google Drive and then we're going to save it to brush steel bolt. Brushed steel bolt. Hit save. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, have a great day.